again yesterday. Uh, just to recap the work we did during the session, the big issue we had was that as you move into the ball, the setup's much better than it was, but as you move into the golf ball, because you don't move off the ball much on the way back, you tend to get out in front of it too early in your downswing, which results in you having to stop, hang back and flick the club head at the golf ball. So you can see that the club head passes your hands as you come through the hitting area. What you tend to see with better ball strikers, people who hit the ball as far as possible, as straight as possible, as often as possible, is a much better impact position. You look at the impact position of Hogan here on the right, and what you're going to see is a shaft that's angling towards the target. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no flicking of the wrists on the way through. And the reason for that is that the centre of his swing has returned to where it was at set up during his downswing. So if I put a little circle there on his sternum, and we do the same with yourself. What we're going to see as you make your swing is we're going to see that on the way back, the sternum stays pretty centred, not much problem with that. But on the way down, you're going to get out in front of that red circle. You can see there that the centre of your swing, if you want your sternum, has now moved ahead of the golf ball. And as a result, as you now come in, you've got to try and work back to get back onto that swing centre. And unfortunately, on that shot, you didn't do it. You throw the club head at the ball, leading to a number of missed hits. If we watch what happens with Hogan, he's going to move off that centre on the way back. At the top of his backswing, he's relatively centred. He's moved back onto it. However, as he continues into his downswing, you can see that he never gets ahead of that centre point. He stays centred much better than you do yourself. As a result, he's able to release the club properly, keeping the handle of the club, leading the club head through impact, resulting in a much more consistent strike and a much more stable club face. So the key from your lesson, Don, is to try and feel that while staying centred on the way back is fine, we've got to make sure that the sternum stays in that position during the hitting of the golf shot. So as you come down into impact, we've got to try and feel that the sternum is staying in line or in the same position that it was at setup. Food for thought, plenty to work on. Overall, your game's coming on a treat. Hopefully this session will explain a little bit further why it can be a little bit hit and miss at times. Good luck with it and speak soon.